So my first impression of Camp Ramal was when I was in a Dot Shalom. I first started camp when I was in Deep Array. So the first time I came to Camp Ramal was for family camp when I was two years old. I was in Nitzanim um, in like 1995 or 96. And my first day of camp was in 1997, when a lot of you were little babies and tied your mommy's tummies. I remember and being really nervous when I was at the bus stop, but I knew right away that this was a place that was warm and um, friendly. I had a special counselor who liked cooking and the Beatles and raising his hand like this. Do you know what his name was? What? Zach Lasker. I was in Gibray and we were driving into camp on the bus and that was like the first thing we saw when we came into camp was this brand new olive tree that had all the Hebrew letters and, and spelled out Ramah and it was a really cool thing to see it. I didn't really know anybody, but then evening came along and that soon changed. I received a Shabbat from one of my Madrid team and I remember feeling like I was so special that I got to receive that special card from him. After an hour and a half later, I got off the bus to crazy counselors just jumping around, screaming, and blossoming, and being surrounded by 500 campers and a staff of 200. It was just an amazing feeling. My favorite food is a camp that was cooking. My favorite activity at Camp Ramah is Hip Hop Edgar. My favorite activity at camp is Gaga. My favorite activity are the diving boards. My favorite part about camp is ceramics. 
My favorite activity at Camp Ramah is going squirrel hunting and jellyfishing with my Gesher campers. At Carnival Yisrael. My favorite part of camp is Tzoneg. I love walking my campers to their Chugim. My favorite activity at camp is Israeli dancing. My favorite part about camp is the water slide. As a camper, I love Yehadut classes. And I love Targut classes. My favorite part about Camp Rama is playing drums at Dahlia. As a camper, I loved Edgar Tikkun Olam. Our favorite activity is swimming in the pool. My favorite activity at camp is helping leave Rama Capella. And my favorite activity at camp is being in Rama Capella.
שזה שידוך. The secret about Maccabia is that it doesn't actually matter who wins. It doesn't matter which team has the best entrance. It doesn't matter who makes the most free throws. And it doesn't matter who gets the most schmaltz points. What does matter is that the Ramah Hanichim are competing as a part of their color regardless of Adah. That each entrance isn't just an entrance, but a work of artistic expression. That each free throw that's made is a result of athletic tenacity. And behind each schmaltz point, there's a cheer infused with more ruach than one could ever imagine. No, Maccabia isn't about who wins. It's about the energy. The ruach. The athletic and the artistic skill. The point of Maccabia is just to have fun. Tzara is more than a tool and more than a long trip. 
It is the catalyst for supreme unification and the vehicle by which all of Machon unites. When Machon departs for Tzada, it is nothing more than a normal Eida, made up of friends and Majichim. After days of dirt, meaningful Tzfilot experiences, hangout time, Ruach, and an eight mile march back to camp, Machon returns at unified force. This force emanates a previously non-existent love supported by communal strength, trust, and unity. It says in our Machon song, Anu po tzoadim hamachon, and it's not until after the transformation of Tzada that we can become Machon and truly activate what Machon is meant to be.
בשבילי שבת במחנה רמה זו אווירה של קדושה, זו אווירה טהורה. בשבילי שבת במחנה זו תחושה של קהילה ושל אחדות, כל המחנה ביחד. אני אוהבת בשבת שתמיד האווירה שמחה וכיפית והכל רגוע. כן, יש הרבה זמן לשחק קלפים, לשחק שש בש. אחרי כדורסל עם החבר'ה, שבס בול, אחרי זה לשחק כדורגל גם. אז שבת במחנה, אני נורא נורא אוהבת את, ה, את האווירה השמחה שמגיעים לקבלת שבת. מה הכי כיף בשבת זה שבת או גרמימס. אני אוהבת לקבל שוקולד, זה עושה לי את השבת. <laughs> להכין שבת או גרמים פחות, אבל לקבל יותר. כולם שמחים לראות זה את זה, מתחבקים, אוכלים ביחד, שרים ביחד, מברכים ביחד. אני אוהבת אחר כך את, ה... את התפילות ואת ה... את ארוחת שבת. יש את הקטע הזה בארוחה, שכולם שמים ידיים ככה על הראש, <laughs> וכולם נראים בערך ככה, <laughs> וזה ממש מצחיק. <laughs> אני מתה על החלק הזה. אני חושב שמה שמיוחד בשבת זה דבר ראשון האווירה. איך שכולם ביחד, בהגרה של מנוחה, של משהו שבאוויר, שאתה בא להגיד שלום לכולם לפני שכולם מתפללים. מה שאני ממש אוהבת בשבת במחנה זה את ההבדלה. כיף לי התחושה שכולם ביחד. ואני ממש אוהבת את העובדה שכל החניכים, כל האלף חניכים נכנסים לחדר אוכל אחד. ושכולם מצליחים לשבת בכיכר ציון. אני חושב ששישי בערב, מחנה רמה, זה הזמן הכי טוב שיש.
My favorite part of camp is playing tennis. My favorite part about camp is playing gaga. And my favorite part is kickboxing. My favorite part of camp is getting mud hugs from Mahonis. My favorite part of camp is listening to Ramal Capella. My favorite part of camp is water balloon fights. Cardboard pizza. Chalk muffins on Saturday. Being in the shit talk and not having to walk up the hill anymore. Rolling down the hill. Tough Dala. Dancing at Dahlia. Akabia. Looking at the stars in the observatory. Leaving pasta in my face. I'll meet some buddies. Singing with Alex and Shira. Oh. When Zach yells, yes, you come a hold out of. Hold up! Making me smile. Sneaking out at night. That guard takes short. Being in my home, going on side. Mock X! Mock X! My favorite part of camp is chilling in the home. Friday night services because we get to come together as an entire kiki law. Going down the water slide. Having me schlaf out here. Virus X! Listening to Zach singing show tunes. Performing in the play. Making this movie! My favorite part of camp is chilling with friends. Like Jake Faza. Our favorite part of camp is training silly bands. I love camp because it's my home. It's where our family is. It's where my friends are. There's no other place like it in the world. This is the clock upon the wall. This is the story of us all. This is the first sound of before he starts to crawl This is the wall that's never won This is a soldier and his girl This is the mother waiting by the fall Praying for her son Pictures of you Pictures of me Hung upon your wall For the world to see Pictures of you Pictures of me Remind us all Of what we used to be
Shalom Rabbi Dan. I bring greetings on behalf of the board to thank you for eight unbelievably wonderful years that you have given to Ramah. Your legacy is amazing. Your legacy is your passion. The passion that you bring to everything you do, whether it's swimming, it's basketball, it's words of Torah, it's creating Jewish souls in the 24-7 Jewish living that we create here together at Camp Ramah. And I know that that is what everyone will remember about you and it's what you teach, is that everything you do, you do with incredible passion. And we wish you incredible uh, in your new endeavors, first in Jerusalem and then in Durham at a wonderfully lucky synagogue. And you will be missed, you will be remembered, and you will always be welcome at Camp Rama in California. Um, let's talk a little bit about Rabbi Dan. Rabbi Dan, we really, really appreciate really everything really that you've done for us. Rabbi Dan, it's been amazing getting to learn with you and be with you every day here at camp as a roach. I hope that all of you have such a great experience and journey to your next endeavors, and I hope to see you soon. To Rabbi Dan especially, I feel very blessed to have been able to get so close to you this summer, um, and um, I feel very honored to have been able to learn with you. I hope that I keep getting your hugs for many years to come. Rabbi Dan, it's been eight incredible summers with you. I'll never forget when we first met in our meeting in Mahan. And I just feel so privileged to work with you every single day and learn from you. You've been an incredible influence on me and I really appreciate everything you've done. But I know you're gonna do an amazing job in Israel and in North Carolina and um, we're gonna see you here. So, Todah Rabbah, Bahat Hi. Rabbi Dan, thank you so much for your leadership, for your guidance, for your wisdom, and for everything you've shared with us over the years. You are really, really special, and I wish you and your family in Seattle well. Words alone cannot begin to describe how grateful we all are for the leadership that you have brought to the Ramah community over the past nine years. Um, on behalf of the community, thank you so much for all that you have helped us learn, the ways that you've helped us to grow, and the ways you've helped us evolve as a really strong community, dare I say the best Jewish camp community in the entire world. On a personal note, I can't imagine moving forward without you in the partnership that we've enjoyed together. Nesia Tova, travel safely to Israel, enjoy that year, have a blast in Durham, North Carolina. We will certainly miss you. Erev Tov, Machane Ramah. Okay, shh. So the Jewish tradition teaches us, We should, when we say goodbye, that we should do so with a word of Torah. So I want to share one last word of Torah with you. It's about the story of Noah. And in the Torah, it says that Noah was a righteous person, but only in his generation. And one of the reasons that he was good, but he wasn't as good as he could be, is that when God comes to him and says, Noah, I'm going to destroy the world, Noah's reaction is to build the ark. But the problem is, is that he doesn't speak up and say, God, you really shouldn't do that. And Abraham does later on. And so there's something the matter with Noah, which is that he doesn't seem to care enough about the world around him. And there are rabbis who say that the reason that Noah was put into the ark and given the job of taking care of all of the animals, of feeding them and cleaning up after them, is so that Noah could learn how to care more about other people. And the ark was a place where he could learn that. Well, Camp Ramah in California is not an ark and it hasn't been raining outside. But nonetheless, we've been cut off from the world both this summer and for the past nine summers that I've done this job, this is a little place removed from the world. And I hope that it is a place 
where you have been able to be removed from the world and find something in yourself that you want to make just a little bit better and that um, and that that's what this experience has given you I want to say to each and every one of you that I love you very much I have loved the work that I have done that being here has been a blessing for me and as excited as I am to go spend the next year in Jerusalem and to become the rabbi of a synagogue I'm also very sad to leave you and to leave this place and I bless you as we finish up this time together that camp should always be a place where you can grow a little bit more as a person and that you look back on the summers which we've had together and you feel a sense of accomplishment and that you go back into the world tomorrow morning when the buses roll away and that you bring some of that great part of yourself from camp out into a world that very much needs you to be the best Jew and to be the best person who you can be. I'm going to say lehitra ot, not goodbye, but lehitra ot means I'll see you again soon. And I pray that I will see each and every one of you again soon. Shalom u lehitra ot, Bienvenidos del 